Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing great. This is a robot that I've been working on for some serious time and well it's basically a robot with some features, some old, some new I guess and I'll try to get to the point and also I'd like to mention that all the experience I got and all the information used in this project were pure self-learning so please if you have some questions you can ask and I'll try to answer them. Okay, let's begin. And now with the first system, which is the self-parking system. You just use your phone and touch some button and then the system will do the rest. Right now this is my version and you first get the order from your cell phone and oops I forgot to turn on the Bluetooth and then connect to the robot and then hit some button and then the system will do the rest. Call the car and then it will park out. And now with the second system, which is the X system. I'm just trying to make something a little bit different, and there's how it works. You first enter the password through your cell phone, and if the password is correct, then this camera will try to recognize your face. About the Android application that I developed, I used App Inventor, which is like the easiest way to create an Android application. And the second part, which is the face recognition system, is done using Raspberry Pi along with Python and OpenCV. You just train the system on positive and negative images as you see right now. Let's check it out. Uh, right now I'm entering the password, which is for now I'm using four zeros. And then you hold that camera and then face it to your face like that. And then just enter your password. Hope you see that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, but what about this? introducing you to some sort of secure system, the so-called Harami system. The system is basically divided into two parts. The first part is when the system detects that there's a robbery, then the camera will take videos of 20 seconds and upload them to the internet continuously. And the second part, actually did not managed to make it because due to a shortage of finance, but it's basically going to send you an SMS of the car's GPS location also continuously. So you will be able to track the car 
but also have some sort of records to the thief. Uh, that's it, just, I'm just right now, uh, triggering the system. Okay, let's head to my account at dropbox.com because this is where the records are saved. As you see right now, the videos are numbered and we can check any one of them. And now with the active safety, and in particular, the collision avoidance system. By using sensors in front of the car, when it detects some object, it first alerts you, and if you don't take an action, well, the autonomous emergency brake stops the car immediately. And even if the car does not have the time stop, because eventually it will hit that object anyway, so the steering system intervene to prevent that from happening. This is the robot from the inside. The real car's electric system is built on several electronic circuits units, aka ECU or a node. Those ECUs sometimes reach 70 ECUs per one car, and they are for the most time connected through a communication protocol called Controller Area Network or CAN. And here we have three ECUs. This one is responsible for the ultrasonic sensors. This one is responsible for the Bluetooth. This one is responsible for the car motion. Also responsible for the encoder information. Each ECU consists of a microcontroller and the CAN controller and also the CAN transceiver. And for the codes used here in this project, they follow Mesra C rules, which is the Motor Industry Software Reliability Association. And those rules are really important for software engineers because they really facilitate the portability and safety within the embedded systems. This is the Adaptive Cruise Control, also known as ACC. It is very useful, especially when it comes to traffic jam. The system saves you a lot of time. It adjusts the speed to maintain a safe distance from the vehicles ahead. This system and also some of the other systems are not specific for automotive, but also can be applicable for the other stuff like a safe or a smart house maybe. This system is a hand gesture recognition. As you see right now, when I make different numbers using my hand, well, it plays different songs. the control you can control the car or some stuff in the car uh, just by using your phone that can be achieved either by touching or using Google voice recognition let's check it out you can do this turn on the horn and was like this or Turn on the headlights by just touching or 
turn off the headlights. Pretty cool, huh? We can also do this, get back a little bit. Get back a little bit. Cool. We also can control the car. Oops. We also can control the car just using those sliders like this. And then get it back like this. Damn. Finally. Alhamdulillah. I've just finished the project and I'd like to thank Bashman Sahad al -Sai. He was really a big help for me and when I need anything, he just be there for me. And also I'd like to thank Bashman Sahad al He's really trying so hard to help me and I really appreciate it. I'd like also to thank Bashman Sahad al He's the one who created the robot cover. Well, I'm just uh, providing some sources and materials. I hope you find them useful. Uh, that's it. See ya.